Hi, in this video we will have a look at Microsoft Power Platform Community Forum Thread. So here the question is error passing body HTTP request Trello Power Automate. So what the user trying to do here is trying to attach an attachment which is an email attachment to a Trello card. So what I did is I did set up a demo environment and here is my card called kickoff meeting. Here it is. The plan is I want to you know get some attachments through Power Automate. So I look the documentation of Trello REST API. If you look create attachment on card you can see passing the name, file, MIME type, URL and set cover. Okay. And if you look the file, the file should be in a binary. And um, then another one is the MIME type, uh, which is the file type it is. Um, depends the PDF or text or email, it's different MIME type it is. Yeah, uh, so it's all depends on the file type, the MIME, uh, the MIME type. Right, okay, so let's create the flow then. So the plan is, uh, since uh, you know the user is trying to attach an email, we try to do the same here. Okay, so for that, I'm going to uh, use when a new email arrives. Okay, so that is Outlook connector I'm going to use when a new email arrives. That is, there is something called version 3, I believe. There we go, that's the one. Okay, so I'm going to say, um, I mean, if you got include attachments, you can say yes, uh, but I'm going to say no now. And in the subject uh, filter, I'm going to say uh, Trello demo, yeah? Um, because then I want to only capture those emails only, yeah? And then uh, I'm going to leave all these options as no now, yeah? With only attachments now, yeah? The next step, since we are going to attach the email into the Trello, the Next step should be export email actually. Export email. Export email. There we go. That's the one we want. Okay, so under the message ID, look for the ID here. You will see message ID we want. Right, that's it. Then the final step is the API we need to call. For that, we need to call the HTTP connector. And then here we need to use the post. Okay, and uh, next the uh, you uh, next we want uh, the you know the API documentation. We need to go and have a look. So if I look this documentation here, you can see here see that all these one here. So let's copy this. Okay. And then let's paste it here. So the card ID, so I need to find this kickoff meeting card ID. Uh, so what is the kickoff meeting card ID here it is. So just to find that, you need to look for demo.json. There we go. And then look for, uh, you know, kickoff meeting. See that? And that's ID we want, 66, see that? And if you use that ID, that's someone we need to substitute there. So I'm going to use that ID there. Um, let me have a good look again, just a minute. So that ID is related to the kickoff meeting. It is the card ID is slightly different. This is the card ID, here we go. Not that ID, just ignore that. This is the card ID I want. See, kickoff meeting ID. So copy that ID. So replace that ID with that. Next, I'm going to do the API key and the, um, you know, these, these ones here. API key, token, both. I'm going to cut this. The plan is I'm going to put in a compose. Right, I'm going to replace my API key and the API token. There is a documentation in Trello how to obtain this, yeah? I'm not going to show my API key and the API token, 
and what I'm going to do the plan now is I'm going to map this compost to here that's it okay so that's that then I am going to replace this in a minute before I run my flow then under the body put two curly brackets then put the file and uh, the file file is if you look the api documentation again you can see that's the file see that so here the file is going to be the body of that output of the so if you look the body of the export email that's what we want okay and next is the mime type so mime type okay so for the email we want message slash r f c 822 okay for mime types there are lots of online documentation out there for standards like pdf text file everything so have a look at that yeah then name i'm going to use uh, the subject you know i want to use the subject of the email here so subject uh, dot eml so that's the email format okay so if it's pdf you need to put dot pdf or dot text and the relevant mime type okay that's it so i'm going to run this flow now okay okay for the test purpose i'm going to click on manually and click on test so what's going to happen now is this screen is going to go waiting now see that that means i can send an email and then the flow will trigger so this is one way of testing the flow always okay so let me send an email now okay so the flow ran successfully you can see here uh, you know it it ran my um, the HTTP uh, action step and then under the compose yeah that's my key and all and then the my export uh, step so everything looks good here so let's have a look in my Trello card then so here we go the kickoff meeting I can see there is an attachment here and that's my subject Trello uh, Trello demo dot email that's my email now so if you download this file let's go and have a look yes download okay and downloaded that I'm going to open this double click and open that file Okay, so here it is. So, uh, you know, that's my, that's the email I sent, community question, Trello email attachment. Yeah. Right. Okay, so, uh, you know, this is a way you need to do the attachments in uh, using the Trello API. Uh, so, the first thing is, you know, you need to put the trigger, then export email for emails, and then do the HTTP, uh, you know, the uh, the attachment api we used and also you know we need to use the mime type and the file which uh, which is very important in this in this situation here yeah and i uh, hope this is useful thank you for watching